Papina. Oh, oh, Cueva. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Good afternoon or good morning, good evening, good night, depending on what time zone you're in. And welcome back to another episode in our horse ranch series. It is raining outside. I've put the candle on. I've got my cup of tea and I'm ready to get stuck into today's episode. Honestly, funny how I've literally already recorded two videos today and I forgot to put the candle on. I always forget. Similar to how I forget to charge my moon lamp, but it's become a little bit of a meme in my Twitch chat now where I've basically said, that I will start charging this moon lamp again when we finally reach 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube and we get a little plaque either here or here. So one day. If you're excited for today's episode though, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button as well, and let's get cracking. Oof, that was hot. Oh. <laughs> Oh my lordy, my eyes are watering. So the last episode finished off where little Lena had just gotten back from huh? a ride with Willow and she's feeling quite tense about it. Well there, it's kind of high up here for... Oh, lovely Willow. <laughs> We just started the episode. It's kind of high up here for an inexperienced rider. Lena isn't so sure about this. I think because it was her first time and while she was doing a little bit of calming ride on Willow, it then got a little bit intense and he went a little bit faster. But I'm sure it's something she will get used to. And she just became friends with Ivy. So maybe she is better suited for Ivy and Ivy will be her horse maybe. There's little Rosie playing with the ball. At least we know that the ball does now work, which is good but it is turning to nightfall here on the branch and everybody is going to be getting themselves ready for bed now i'm wondering if lena is going to have to go into school or if there is a way that we can have her kind of homeschooled except not homeschooled but sort of virtual school that's what i mean so can we enroll lena in virtual school sophia of course is in her third and final trimester so she's going to be having this baby today a lot of you were suggesting oh wait a minute it seems that whenever i try enrolling her in virtual school it's not letting me so i'm hoping it works this time but as i was saying a lot of you were suggesting some different names in the last episode so thank you so much for that okay lena is now informally enrolled an enrollment fee has been exacted she should begin at her new school on the next weekday wait a minute so what does this mean now so she is a virtual school c student so she has to uh -huh. attend virtual class and submit assignments okay cool so she can work and help out on the ranch while also doing school rather than going into school i think that is a lot more suited for lena let me know if you agree all right lena starts school you can either go to in-person classes attend school virtually or take time off so she she needs to get up now. Oh, the sink's broken downstairs. Tobias, my love, do you mind repairing that? And Lena, it is time for you to go and attend school. Horizons Virtual Academy. We need to log into the virtual school classroom, I guess. A performance is only okay, which is not good. Lena is now logged on. Be sure to check out today's assignments, classes, assessments, and other requirements. Okay, we need to attend a class. Let's do science. She can chat with her teacher as as well. She also has to study independently for a hundred. What is a hundred? Is that an hour? A hundred hours? All right, good luck. We'll check in with you later. These two have come and gone to the picnic basket for brownies. <laughs> Oh, this is empty. Oh, I don't know why they came out here, but they must have really enjoyed the picnic. And Sophia loves being outside and good food can only make it better. So yeah, reminiscing about the picnic. Um, let's go ahead and get Sophia to refill the feeder. I'm gonna also call the horse ranch hand. 
thingamajig. It is annoying that it seems to glitch out and you can only, you have to call them like daily rather than hiring it and they come every day. So I'll get it to call anyway. Lena has completed today's daily call class requirement. That's good. Okay, so she's attended one virtual class. It would be good, Sophia, if you didn't bother her while she was in her school lessons. Because honestly, that's, that's not good. And Sophia can go and harvest all of the prairie grass. Let's get chopping. Let's see what we can find and how is our nectar doing? All right, it seems that we still have only a couple of finely aged bottles of nectar. The majority of it is just lightly aged, which is fine, but it just means that we've got a little bit more time before we're able to do a like ranch day where we can sell our nectar. Although we can do, we can maybe set up a ranch day, but we'll wait until <laughs> the pregnancy is over because lo and behold, I would set it up and then suddenly Sophia would go into labor. That would be so typical. Tobias, please leave her here. Okay, what I am gonna do is lock this door for everyone but Lena because it seems that Tobias and Sophia are so used to having Lena around all the time that they just always keep, seem to go and pester her. But right now she's doing her virtual school. So it would be really annoying if they go in and start talking to her and distracting her. Sophia found a blueberry, well done. And she is attending her little classes as well. Sophia's feeling very sad from a mood swing. Oh no. I have not noticed. Oh, there he is. The ranch hand is here. He's doing absolutely nothing. The virtual school day is over. Wait, it's literally till 11 a.m.? <gasps> what? What a life to live. Is she able to go and study anyway? I mean, I'll leave her to do whatever she can and keep going. But why don't you do your homework? and study health and wellness. What is iron yum? Iron yum. Oh, it's one of those sorts of things. She's got a load of random stuff in her inventory. We need to like clear this out. I'll tell you what. Oh, she found a grape nectar. Normal quality. That's not bad. Let's get that down in the cellar. Um, We could actually sell some of these random bits and bobs that she's found on the selling table. So this iron yum, this leaf, the frogs, they can all be sold. The avocado the pear. I don't even know if people will buy this stuff, but it turns out we haven't been <laughs> growing as much as we probably should have done. But I feel like it's very hard to focus on all of the things in this pack. Oh, I've just put a load of poops on the table. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to focus on all the things that come with this pack and like how you can get your gardening skill up and then the manure can go on the gardening and help it with fertilizing and blah, blah, blah. It's hard to do everything and look after the horses and any extra animals you may have while also having kids and being pregnant. That's what I have found. She really needs a wee. Did Tobias do his nectar? He did. Okay, he's got loads to be putting in here. Let's put three strawberry nectars and one apple nectar. Oh, somebody's wet their panties. Oh dear. Let's mop the uh, oh, wee wees up, boy. empty the trash, and then go on and get yourself a nice, fresh, clean shower. Little Lena is doing her homework and then she is going to study. She's in a bit of a foul mood at the minute, but oh well. Sophia, I'm officially a dog parent now. I'd love for you to stop by if you have the time. Okay, let's go see. Our mum has, or our mum and dad have got a dog. What kind of a dog do you think that they've got? Oh, we, we are back at the family I'm home. <gasps> oh, hi there. Look at this fluffy little muffin head. Oh my goodness. It looks very poodly. What's its name? Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Yes, my mum and dad, I know I smell. Oh, I am ew. nine months pregnant, but you wanted me to meet your dog. So I traveled all this way to come and meet your Ooh. dog. We're oh. feeling happy yeah, from awesome. our parents adopting Ooh. a furry friend. The best thing about dogs is they'll love you forever. <laughs> oh, I think madam might be feeling a little bit jealous of the doggo. And I think that she might want to adopt a dog herself. So maybe we can have her oh, asking her mum some questions about the doggo and the whole process of adopting and just see <laughs> oh, if she yes. thinks it would be a good idea obviously with the other animals oh, on the cash. horse ranch if or she thinks that a dog would be a Perfect good thing to have and i think her mum is advising her you know oh, it's ultimately sharks? you uh, and tobias that can that make that decision maybe little lena has been asking for a dog for a while oh, yeah. and now
now knowing oh. that her grandparents have a dog. God, they do no, not bro. seem like grandparents, That's do true. they? Her mum's so gorgeous. Oh, she's just gone into labour. She bent down to um, pick little Lexi up and then she got the notification that she went into labour. Okay, mum, it looks like you are going to have to come with me to the hospital. Tobias is going to have to meet us there because we're having a baby. Put the doggo down. Hi, doggo. You've definitely made us want to get a doggo of our own. But the question is, will we have enough household space? We have got three Sims, potentially now another, and then three horses. So we need to figure out if after this little babbleroo comes along, if we'll actually have enough household space and be able to adopt a doggo. Oh, okay, we're here and we're already in our little maternity gown. So it looks like this baby is coming now. We had a very quick labor. Let's get in the room, Tobias. I don't know if mum's joining us. Maybe she felt that it was for Tobias to be there and support. I love how to Oh, I was about to say, I love how Tobias is there in the room ready before Sophia, but he went to play video games. But here we go. Sophia's second child. Do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? If you think it's going to be a boy, then like this video. If you think it's going to be a girl, then hit that subscribe button. What's it going to be? Wait a minute. I added CC to that sim. I didn't realize they were a doctor, but it's a boy. Okay, so um, I think we are going to do Diaz as his last name. I need to double check that they've all got Diaz as well because I feel like it's nice to keep that family name. And I said if it was going to be a boy, we would name him after her granddad. Yes, yeah, Sophia's granddad, whose name was Louis. But I think we'll mix it up and we will call him Louis Diaz. And it is just the one. That's nice. So we've had a little girl and now we have had a baby red-eyed boy. Does that baby have red eyes? Why does it have red eyes? That's weird. Why does my baby have red eyes? Is it a vampire? Nobody's a vampire in this family, so it couldn't be. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and check the adoption agency and see if there are any little baby border collies. Oh my God, look at that fluffy chouch. Ah! Baxter! Oh my god, that's so cute. I have heard though that chow chows require a whole hecking lot of training and attention. All right, mixed breed, West Highland White Terrier, Whippet, Siberian Husky, Doberman, Alaskan Malamute, Cocker Spaniel, Papillion, Eskimo, mixed breed. Okay, right, none of them on there are kind of the breed that I wanted, so I am going to nip into Cass and adopt a dog, but oh do it through Cass. I'm also gonna change uh, their name. So you can be a Diaz and Fia also is a Diaz. All right, everyone else is Diaz's as well. So now we are gonna go and add a pet and we're gonna add a dog. And I may have a look on the gallery for border collie dogs. What is the most popular border collie? <gasps> oh my gosh, look. Merging household would exceed the maximum number of allowed sims. Why? One, two, three, four, six, seven. Oh, if I get rid of, look at this dog. Is it a beagle? Wow, that is an impressive dog. It looks so realistic. The only thing is, if I change it to be a puppy, is it going to lose all of those features? It still, it still has all the features, I think. Wow, that is so impressive. Okay, it's coming with the name Bella, which is very cute. So I think we will leave it as Bella Diaz. If you have any other name suggestions, though, as always, Ways, be sure to put them in the comment section and it is active smart and playful which i think is pretty accurate for a border collie to be quite honest with you so let's go ahead and welcome bella into our family oh and also we need to welcome louis in <laughs> sorry nearly forgetting we have a child too i think this little muffin head is feeling oh who is we in blooming ivy <laughs> But yeah, I think that little baby Bella, I was going to say Olive, <laughs> little baby Bella is feeling a little bit scared of the big horses. Look at her looking up. To be fair, she does look teeny tiny next to them. Can we get Lena to come and pick her up and bring, oh my God, manure is literally bigger than this border collie. <laughs> Although not for long, I'm sure they will grow very quickly and soon enough overtake the size of the manure. I love how her mum and dad now have their baby and now she's got her little baby as That's well. Cool. That's really cute. But you do need to actually bring her inside because she's too small to climb the stairs. So if you pick her up, 
Oh wait, I'm on the wrong person. Pick her up and go put her down over on the patio. Agnes Crumplebottom thinks Cameron Fletcher's cute. You do that. Love has no age. Right, where is the newborn child? That's what I want to know. Does anyone know where Louis is? Because I'm not seeing him anywhere. Where is the child? Louis is in the stables. I feel like this always happens. <laughs> All my children are destined for the stables. Um, all right, so Louis is now going to be coming into this room. And I think let's go ahead and mix up the nursery and let's make it like greeny forest sort of flavoured. All right, there we go. A little green and brown flavoured room for baby Louis. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Have I done them two separate colours? No, they are the exact same colour. I think it's just the lighting. But Sophia is going to go for a first ride on willow in a long time and honestly i think she needs it while she loves being a mum she loves her horse riding she loves training willow and everything as well so let's go for a fun little horse ride and then maybe do a bit of training with willow look how cute this is you've got tobias learning how to play the piano and then little baby bella is just watching him speaking of little baby bella do we have have any okay we've got this so i'm gonna go get lena to fill the pet bowl but we do not have a bed for bella at the moment so let's go get one maybe like this and we can pop that there and then i feel like she deserves some toys as well so perhaps we can put a toy box or something in the office it's honestly just so nice seeing willow and sophia out and about on rides again it's just i feel like she's been waiting to do this for so long and she's feeling very happy as well fuzzy feelings from hugging her dogs and she loves horse riding so she's back in her element again i think it of course could be quite good if we oh sophia just reached horse riding level eight she can now share horse riding tips with other sims to help them improve their horse riding skill as well so perhaps that is something that she can do with her daughter this is a cool little area who are you and willow just reached endurance level seven so sims can ask about willow's favorite type of ride and he'll recover from being fatigued a lot more quicker okay so i'm just looking for some training areas we've actually got one right here so we're gonna go and intensely train on the jumps and the barrels willow is weeing <laughs> watering the plants and all that jazz look at him back on the jumps we need to be entering into some competitions now that Sophia is not pregnant anymore and she's getting back into riding willow again and training with willow i think i am gonna quickly nip into cass and update Sophia's appearance now that she's not pregnant and she's back into properly professionally riding and training and competitions. And so I feel like now that she's at level eight of the horse riding skill, we can go ahead and give her the best of the best. People, you know, that, uh, that know their horses and what I feel deserve this particular top. So it's it's made for Sophia. It's ready for Sophia. She is ready for it. So this is going to be Sophia's updated outfit. Let's sort out her hair as well. Since at the moment it is up and out of her face. But maybe something like plaits is going to be a good way to go now. Oh, I quite like the pigtails actually. So let's do her looking like this. The one thing that obviously we can't really be doing at the minute is adopting horses or rescuing horses as such which is obviously what we've spoken about and how Sophia's granddad used to do that oh she needs to go fix that actually instead of doing that why don't you go and intensely train on the barrels but yeah Sophia's granddad used to rescue horses and train them up and everything which is kind of what I wanted her to do but right now this household is so full there's just no chance of doing that so I really don't know what to do I don't know whether we I know I said this before but whether we get rid of one of the horses like rosie or ivy maybe and then start rescuing horses or really what to do from here what do you lot think do you think maybe we should get rid of one of rosie or ivy and then start rescuing like we can start maybe with one horse well we'll only have space for one horse and then go from there i'm just really not sure but willow's skills are doing well we just need to get the agility and jumping up now and then i'm sure he's going to perfect all of these competitions i really want him to enter into all of them maybe tomorrow 
in game will start entering into the competitions. Little baby Louis is getting all upset. So can daddy come up and sort him out? I really do love how Tobias is honestly such a doting dad. He takes care of Louis. He knows that Sophia is really busy and Sophia obviously absolutely adores Louis, but it's nice that Tobias is that amazing support as well and can be there and look after Louis when Sophia isn't able to. So little Louis getting some drinky poos and needs a diaper change by the looks of it. And it's 11 o'clock at night and these two are still out here training. I'm not sure why this is still showing as like yellow around it for Lena. Like her performance is excellent, but is she meant to study for a hundred hours? I don't understand. I'm not sure, but she should get her little tushy off to bed. Louis is asleep, so Tobias, you can head to sleep as well. Did the sink downstairs get fixed? It did, good. Lovely jubbly. All that training got too exciting for Willow, but we fixed the barrels and now Sophia can fix the jump as well perfect and louis is crying so mama why don't you take this this one no oh, hopefully mummy can make everything better i've just noticed look at his little like foot down at the bottom like moving as he's being fed that is so precious oh look how cute i love them oh mummy snuggles technically we've had two babies today baby louis and then also baby Bella. Wait, is Bella asleep? Why are her eyes open? Wait a minute. Is that like because it's painted on? I don't know, but it's kind of creepy. Let's just not look at Bella when she sleeps. All right. So everyone's woken by Louis' screams. I think Tobias is going to go and sort him out, although he does need a wee himself. So um, Sophia, can you call a ranch hand? Because actually, did the ranch hand even do anything yesterday? I'm not sure, but we'll hire a ranch hand anyway. I mean, I mean, the goats and sheep don't look too stink so maybe he did do something hopefully he did but we'll get the ranch hand in they can sort that out and then we'll go and train with willow and maybe enter a comp sophia's feeling tense from underachieving has she really done enough with her life i mean she definitely has you saw the ranch and how she's upgraded it you know from what it was to begin with to what it is now she's looked after her horses her goats her sheep her family so well like she is an absolute legend let's Let's go ahead and get training with Willow once again and then we will enter into some comps. You little miss can go ahead and sign into virtual school and it just says she needs to study independently. Is it literally a hundred hours that she's got to do in total? I don't know. Oh it's going up quite quickly. A hundred minutes maybe. I don't know but I'll let her study a couple of the things and then she can join in with some of the classes. Maybe do a wood shop class. Okay that is going up really really quickly. So that's good. Right, you two are going to go do some training on the barrels. Actually, don't intensely train. Let's race the barrels. Willow's fun is a bit low, which isn't too good, but hopefully it should go up soon. And then after doing a bit of barrel racing, we'll enter you into some comps. Lena finished her school assignment on time. Homework credit and school performance has been positively affected. Okay, so she's completed everything, which is amazing. Why don't you chit chat with some friends online though? Chat with virtual classmates. Oh, Angelina's got the reindeer. Little antlers out ready to play. Chat with Angela and maybe chit chat as well with, let's do like a little girl club. Maybe you can add Marie and Sierra. All right, chit chat with the girlies. Once Willow reaches the next level for that, we will go and enter him into a competition. Reached agility level six. Okay, cool. And he reached, oh, Rosie reached temperament level five. Okay, let's find the nearest little board. Get where it is now. I think it's over here somewhere. There we go. And um, we will enter into a competition. <gasps> Ooh, expert barrel racing. Skill level eight, recommended seven. Agility. Ooh, okay. So we are one level off of what they recommend. What do we do? Endurance racing. I feel like he will smash. Show jumping, he'll smash. You can only do one comp a day, right? Hmm. Let's do an endurance racing one today and then tomorrow we will do the show jumping. Annoying that you can only do one a day though. All right, let's go cuties off to your competition. Good luck. You've got this. You're gonna smash it. There we go. Sophia's entered an endurance competition. You can go and harvest your straws as always. I think what I am gonna do though this time is replant the strawberries so that we can grow more. 
and make more nectar. I think Lane is now chit-chatting with all of the friendos yeah. online. We've got Angela, Mary, or Marie, and Sierra. Uh. Perhaps in the next episode, we'll give them CC makeovers. Let me know if that is something that you would be interested in. Let's plant these strawberries here as well. Off you go, Tobias, go plant those. We got first place. Yeah, yeah endurance racing beginner gold medal all those hours of trainings have paid off as you take the first place position <laughs> expedition position well done willow is it am i right in saying that it is literally only one a day one comp a day enter competition change oh yeah it can't be the same horse although i swear i just saw that like rosie's oh rosie's jumping is level four let's do some show jumping with rosie then come on then rosie seems to be sleepy and a little bit miffed off at the moment but it's your time your time to shine little louis seems to be keeping himself occupied here why don't you go and blow a kiss you can coo at him and entertain him and chit chat him and be a good little big sister oh oh no <laughs> he's still crying oh she tried she's so cute She's trying her best. There you go. I think you managed to make him have a few giggles and he's no longer sad and he's now feeling happy. Lena is feeling capable. Can she do it? She can. <gasps> Lena's in tears after meeting a new sibling that she didn't want. Oh, maybe she wanted to be like an only child. And now Louie's here and is going to be getting her parents' love and attention and her not so much. So that's not too good. Ah, well done. Little Rosie took second place in her first ever competition. That is really good going. Well done, Rosie. Well done, Rosie. Well done, Willow. And on that happy note, we are going to finish today's episode here. If you did enjoy it, as always, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you are excited for the next episode and what you thought of today's episode and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more of this series take care look after yourselves and i will see you in the next one taz out <laughs>